And chances are COVID-19 grounded not just your summer plans, but your summer getaway too. We wanted to get a better idea of the impact this has had and if you absolutely need to travel, what you should know. Here's Angelo Vargas. Cruise ships docked and airline restrictions in place. Then travel warnings from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention are not changing anytime soon. We're seeing a lot of chaos because everything is getting closed down. Guardian travel owner Janet Swanhart says traveling is not easy right now. Getting people's refund monies are even chaotic because a lot of people are blaming us for not getting their refunds and we have nothing to do with it. Um, we're only the in-between person to talk to. Swinehart explains some folks are able to travel, but it depends on what country or state you're going to. Especially the openings and the protocols are the problem. A lot of times we can rebook certain people, other people we can't, depending on what states they're living in, depending on whether or not they can get certifications and stuff to get out of the country to into another country. The Center for Disease Control World Map reports many countries have widespread ongoing transmission of COVID-19. A warning level three to avoid non-essential travel and restrictions to the United States. If reading a map is not your style, the CDC also has another site where you can type in the country. Swinehart says if you do travel, always check on your flight status. That's the problem is, is people are showing up at the airports and not knowing their rules. They gotta check their protocols. and also check their airline every single minute before you go. In March, the State Department put out a global health advisory to not travel internationally. The state recommends to enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program that provide alerts on safety and security. The links to all the advisories will be on our website at 13newsnow.com. In Chesapeake, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. Angelo, thank you.